Oh my god, we're going holiday! Come on, how do you take it? Yeah, it's mine, right? Mine's a heavy one. That is so shiny, that is so. We are at the airport now and we are two hours early for our flight so we're gonna have some snacks before we go and this is the view We speak English Where are you from? Singapore Oh, welcome to arrived at our resort. This is Palangi Beach Resort and we paid $794 for six nights here. It's so expensive but the resort looks so good like it looks super grand. Saya kampar Kampar mah? Ya, then saya You know how to make it So we're gonna have our first seafood dinner meal by the beach You can see there's like people performing behind us Scotch ice cream, let's try it. My standard for ice cream is very high. Because like, we always eat in Singapore. You know why it tastes like peanut butter? Peanut butter. <laughs> it's really quite nice. Day 2 of Langkawi. Yay! So it's uh, around 9 am now, and we're gonna have breakfast, Western breakfast. Uh, it's the buffet from our resort and then after that we are going to walk down to one of the tour operators to book some water spot Got some coconut shake from the store just now. It's only 3 RM. Where can you find 3 RM coconut shake in Singapore? One thing you can do in there like this. Look at her, look at her go. Dinner now at this uh, Mediterranean restaurant. Spicy. So we actually got the mixed grill for two packs, and this is the first two dishes that came, and we have some more coming up. 
We have some beef and chicken, tomato. It comes with a salad as well. Good morning! So today is day 3 in Langkawi and I just wanted to give you guys like an update of what went on yesterday. So yesterday we booked our jet ski tour with this company called Toro Water Sports. They actually have a lot of like water sport booths along Chenang Beach. So I think honestly they all kind of do like the same kind of activities and the prices are all around the same but you can bargain a little bit with the locals. Um, our jet ski tour was 4 hours. It was 550 ringgit and they brought us to 3 different islands. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get to go to the cave but I think that's because um, if I'm not wrong, one of the tour guides said that there is a lot of rubbish there so the jet skis cannot actually go through that area. So anyway, for today, uh, we will be going to get our breakfast at the hotel first and then we'll be going to this petting zoo later at about 3 or 4 p.m. before going for seafood dinner. So you guys can hear the sound of the carrot behind me <laughs> because we are at the wildlife uh, park right now. So today we decided to rent a motorbike. Um, you can rent it along the streets on Langkawi. There's a lot, a lot of like car and motorbike rental shops. And the lady quoted us thirty ringgit per day, which we thought was pretty cheap. So we didn't negotiate any further. So we got the. We bought snacks for Corinne to eat. <laughs> no. We bought snacks to feed the animals. I think it's 15 RM per person now. Then, um, the entry wise is 45 RM per pack. So let's go and feed some animals. You don't want to eat. They have this sign to tell you what food the animals can eat. No so more. fast. No more. <laughs> Big pelican here. Wow, open your tail. He's so scared of the ostrich. More, more. Nah, next one. No. <laughs> ah. Very very big fish for dinner today. Black pepper crab, salted egg crab, cereal prawn, kailan which we have already eaten halfway, and we have some salt and black pepper soup. Mm. Nice. Oh. Bye bye. Mango shake. <laughs> It tastes really good but there's a lot of condensed milk inside. Nice, right, some ota. Yeah. It's like peanut pancake. Yeah. Uh, one. He's going crazy, he's buying everything here because it looks so good.
um, this is the lower part of the waterfall and we'll be going up to the seven wells one now. I got 50 meters more. We are back at the villa again. So we spent like half a day at the waterfalls. I think we were we left at about 9 a.m. this morning and then we stayed there until about 1.30. So now it's 2 o'clock and we are really really tired. So we are going to get some grab food for lunch. And in the afternoon later we will be heading down to Kua Town to have seafood at Wonderland Food Store. Going out for dinner now. We are now at Wonderland Seafood and we are going to eat a lot of seafood over here. So this place is actually very popular among like the locals. Everybody recommended for us to come here. And one tip is for you to book beforehand uh, because most of the time they have a queue. So the thing about Langkawi seafood supply right is that whatever they have on the menu right may not be available because it depends on what they caught for the day. So for today there's no crab, there's no lobster. So we have to order um, fish as well as tiger prawns instead. is pretty low. <laughs> you have to crawl through it. <laughs> yeah, over here got nothing. Uh, going inside the crocodile cave.
So it's day 6 of Langkawi and we are going to be headed back home this afternoon. Generally, we had a really good trip. There was one major thing that we did not do on this trip which is the sky bridge and cable car. Um, it is actually one of their main tourist attractions but it's currently closed so we didn't actually get the chance to go for it but we were still able to get a pretty good view of Langkawi when we went to the top of the waterfall but if you guys do visit Langkawi just know that this sky bridge and cable car is one of their main attractions for the expenses wise Langkawi is actually pretty affordable so the air tickets from Singapore were less than $100 per pax and we only spend about $400 per person over here and as for the accommodation wise we did choose to get a pricier accommodation because we really wanted to stay in a beach resort but if you were to come here there's actually a lot of more affordable options especially at those boutique hotels if I remember correctly you can get as low as $300 for 5 nights over here in Langkawi. So you have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have any questions about Langkawi, feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I will try my best to get back to you soon. Bye for now!